How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to me this morning, Tom. Um, you know, I, the movie is, is really great. It's really romantic, of course. And I wanted to know first off, you know, being in a Nicholas Sparks film, how much of a romantic guy are you? <laughs> oh, I'm extremely romantic, extremely. Yeah, so what kind of things do you do, you know, to court, to court a lady? Well, I think, <laughs> um, you know, I, th I think one of the things is to pay attention, um, you know, to, to what someone may may enjoy or enjoy to do or, or maybe looking forward to as a gift and, um, and really just uh, give them your time and your attention. I, well, that sounds great because that's perfect. I think I, I, I literally say. took that from Nicholas Sparks. I think that was in a... <laughs> well, I, I was going to say you because I was going to ask you, that was my next question, because spending so much time with that man and, you know, I know that you, you spent a, a, some considerable amount of time during the press day with him and everything. What do you learn from him? Like, wh what's his secret? How does he, he know about this stuff so well? You know, he, <laughs> he says, you know, he said, I did learn a lot from him, actually, the way he conducts himself and the way that, that, that he sees the world. Um, you know, he, he sees it as... Um, he, he sees himself in a, a, as an observer. He l loves to observe people and the nuances and in relationships and whatnot. And he also said something that was really wise. He said, you know, you just can't tell people what to do. You can, you su you can suggest options for them, but you're wasting your time telling anyone what to do, which was very, uh, it was enlightening to me. Um, he's, he's a really great guy. He's, he's, he's very uh, professional and, and very good at what he does. And he's a lot of fun to be around. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, he, he definitely knows what he's doing. That's that's 100 mm -hmm. percent. Now, in this movie, you play Dr. Ryan mm -hmm. and, you know, I'm sorry to say, but, you know, he just doesn't get the girl. Mm -hmm. However, in the beginning, when you're with Teresa Palmer, you know, you guys had some good chemistry. How did you enjoy working with oh, her? Oh, I, I, I enjoyed working with her so much. She's so much fun. She's so bright. She's like a, a she's just so energetic. She's like a, a lightning bolt in the room. And I think everyone fell in love with her on, on the cast and the crew. Um, she's just so much fun to be in. She radiates. And um, you know, what we try to do is make it a very difficult decision that she had to make between these two guys. And in this film, you see these characters about 10 years later, and you get to see how those, um, how those choices ended up affecting all of their lives. It's, it's an ensemble sort yeah. of a piece that way. Yeah, exactly. And then, of course, Ben Walker, who, you know, his background is is a stand-up comedian. Mm. So w is it hard to get through a scene with, some, with a guy like that? Well, I know that Ben's an extremely talented guy. I think one of the things he's done before was the stand-up, but he's also a, a trained dancer and actor and, and musician. I mean, he's he's got a lot of skills, um, you know, in his bag of tricks. And uh, he's just a lot of fun to be around. Um, he's, he's very professional. He's have, had a lot of experience. And we got along great. We had a great time. Yeah. Now, looking back in your life, what's the best choice you've ever made? I think it was um, coming out to L.A. and um, choosing to get into this industry. Um, I probably mm -hmm. didn't realize it at the time, but that's you know kind of the way life goes. Um, some of the little, cho some of the choices you make that are small can have big um, ramifications, and some of the big choices you think are huge really don't mean anything. And it's hard to know until the end, I suppose. Absolutely. But of course, one of the best choices you made was coming to Canada and you spent pretty much 10 years of your life mm -hmm. shooting that pheno phenomenal show Smallville. Yeah. And I have to tell you, Tom, you have still such an incredible fan base. Oh, that's great. What, you know, looking back on that show and you're still your devoted fans, what did that mean to you, you know, being on something like that? Oh, uh, I, I, in short, I wouldn't be sitting here without them. Uh, Smallville uh, was such a great experience. I'm very proud of what we did up there and um, I, what a great place to be and to shoot. Um, we had a great cast, great crew, and all, it was only because the fans watched the show um, that we were able to be on the air so long and, and then allowed me to continue in this industry. So it's, it's, I'm very, very grateful. And it's quite amazing too, because especially these days you can tune into something like Netflix or whatever and you get a whole new bunch of fans watching the show, maybe your kids for the first time. Mm -hmm. do, do you still get recognized on the street, especially for that? You know, it's something that you embrace? Um, you know, there's there's a few things that I, I, I get recognized for the role of Clark Kent more than anything else, that's for sure. And you know, it's when I hear people <laughs> talk, we were, we were on the air so long that some people say that they, they started the show, they kind of grew out of it and then came back to it. Um, and then there's other people yeah. who find it for the first time or... Um, I, I just think it's great when you when so many people work so hard to try to put something out there that they're proud of and and people enjoy it. It's it's the best thing that can happen. 
Yeah, well, good for you. It's amazing. So what are we going to see next from you? I know, uh, like I said, your fans are just dying to know. I've been getting tweets, like millions of tweets from all your fans, you know, <laughs> please ask Tom this and please ask Tom <laughs> that. It's, it's really quite amazing. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. They want to know what's up next and where they can see you next. Well, um, we're uh, developing a show with CBS that um, I, would, I would play the lead. And uh, we're just waiting for the final green light to shoot the pilot. Hopefully that'll come any, any second. Um, and, um, you know, that's, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for that one. Well, we're keeping our fingers crossed, too. And I have to mention, you know, in this movie as well, it's a real tough break of the location that you have yeah. to shoot in. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah, my heart really bled for you. How much did you enjoy that? <laughs> um, I, I, like, I want to live there. Uh, I stayed in a little area <laughs> called Wrightsville Beach where um, literally one day I paddle boarded across the sound to work. Um, and there's not many places you can do that. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful, like, there's magic in the air down there. It's, it's spectacular. Yeah, I really can just imagine. I, I think it should be in your contracts now <laughs> that, you know, every movie or every TV show yeah. thing you make has to be shot in North Carolina. It's funny, Nicholas told me the same thing. He's like, man, just trust me, work down here all the time. And I was like, all right, well, <laughs> give me a list of everything <laughs> you're shooting down best. here. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations to you. You did a really great Thank job you. in this. And, you know, although I, I kind of felt bad for Ben Walker getting punched out, <laughs> I think he kind of deserved it, don't you think? I, I, I would agree. He did deserve it. <laughs> I'm sure he forgave you after that. <laughs> he understood. He understood. <laughs> All for the craft, yeah. my friend. All for the craft. <laughs> Well, have a great day. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. And best of luck. I hope, I hope we see you back here in Canada, too, sometime soon. Thank you. Take care. Okay, take care, Tom.